Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. I can have the metallic colour. I really love these metallic colours. I do, I just do, I don't know why. Look at that. But I thought I added in a couple of extra metallic colours. Maybe I didn't. Apparently I didn't. Oh, I did that one. We got the same blue metallic that we had on the last one. I thought I did with a green as well, but I may have been mistaken on that. Because I thought I also did this purple as a metallic, but that's not a metallic. But this one here, we're going to have a gold plow. 1,200 euros for a solid gold plow. Now, it's not actually solid gold. It is uh, gold with um, a, a few extra bits in, in it there. It's, it's, an, it's a gold alloy because, obviously, if it was a solid gold plough, we'd stick it in the ground once and that would be the end of the plough. So, clearly, we're not going to be doing that. But, I mean, it's a little tiny plough. This could take a while to do the fields. That's fine. We don't mind. We can endure. And what I'll do is I'm just going to... But it, it's got a nice speed on it. But we're going to kind of need to, like, cut a little bit around the edge of the field just to start with. So if I bring this one over here like this and I drop that one in there. There. So as you can see, it's it's a very, very small plow. It does do a reasonable turn of speed. Is that one up along there like that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to... What do you mean you've complete? No. How have you complete? You haven't completed anything. We need to plow the field. <clears throat> it's not complete. Uh... Does this mean that the hired... Oh... Oh, there might be a little tiny detail in this that I've overlooked that makes the hired help not able to do this properly. Uh, I really hope that's not the case. I did test it, though, and the hired help was working when I tested it. Oh, it's working now. Ooh, I wonder if this is because he's too close to the edge of the field. As you can see, like, I've, I've, I've made it a little bit wider than it was to start with. Let's try it here. It might just be because he was so close to the edge of the field. That could actually be it. But I'm plowing at 35k with a gold plow. There. Doesn't get much better than this. We have a gold plough and we're doing 35k across the field. This is amazing. Go on, a little bit more. It's the dust on the back. You can't see very well because of the dust on the back there. And boom. <laughs> At least with that plough and the front weight, it kind of keeps the tractor up in the air just enough to stop it from completely collapsing into the ditch so if i bring you here rather than being right on the very edge is it gonna work going across the end of the field here it does i think it was just because i was too close to the edge maybe and that's why it didn't like it ideal right that works okay this this, this is something i like i i, I like this then you all right well you you stop right there and i will turn here like that and i'll sort of drop it in about this there if we slide in there just slide in gently and off you go perfect off you go with a whoosh now you're going to go herring down across the field here edge of the field slightly moves oh no he's going out far enough there that's absolutely fine so 
we'll get to the end of the field here and we'll find out if we have enough room to be able to turn properly. So that we'll, we'll get the ploughing done in a reasonable amount of time by the look of it. If we have a look here, there, uh, ploughing will be done in a reasonable amount of time. There's no fertiliser on this field. This is going to be a problem for us. I think this end of the field will probably be alright. But the other end of the field we may struggle with. So I'm going to do a second pass just on this end. of the well, I, well, on both ends of the fields. So if I drop that one down there like that. That will then give the tractor easily enough time to be able to stop and turn round. Like we're going to need it to. Uh, so if you get over to this end of the field here and then stop yeah see it's not quite able to do it but this wider piece that I've now got down this end will allow it to do whatever I want it to do let's turn some lights on now we can see what we're doing look at that that's fantastic Isn't it here turn the lights off now and I do the same here and then I can just set the hired help going up and down the field and it, it will be absolutely just fine. Cross that way. And this is all we're going to really need. I'm not going to need anything more than this. Just get this ploughed and then we can decide what we plant in here. I might do a proper crop rotation. I'm not quite sure yet. But, I mean, if I'm doing my normal kind of crop rotation, then the next crop that we want to put in here after potatoes will be barley. That's the same crop rotation I would follow in the time lapse series. And I'll do that because it's the four crops that we need for the feeding of the pigs, which is barley, soybeans, corn and potatoes. So with, that's the, the order that we do them in. So if there's a soybean field, next it becomes corn if it's corn it then becomes potatoes and so on and so forth you get the idea and that's what we will aim to do so let's just see this one down to the end of the field see it turn round so long as everything is in working order there gonna slow down a little bit there All right he did manage to make it look at the shine on that gold Oh, that is glorious. I love it. And he's dropped back in and he's away. Okay, so that one is working absolutely as intended as we want. 437,000 litres of Tatey Pose on board this trailer right here. We need to get these back to the yard. So that's our next task is drive these back, get them tipped out into the feed mixer. We don't have any other crops in there yet, and it may be a little while before we get the other crops in there. That's fine, but we've made a start. We've got the potatoes. We're going to want the corn, the barley, and the rest of it. And then we can start growing our Dutch bacon. Not Danish bacon. There's no Danish bacon involved. We're, we're, we're having Dutch bacon this time. There's no Danish bacon involved. I don't know where you lot got this idea of Danish bacon from being grown in Holland. Um... I, utterly ridiculous idea. You certainly wouldn't have heard anything. Like, why are you seriously? What is wrong with you? Oh, you can clearly see me coming down a road. I'm a lot bigger than you. My brakes are not going to be as good as yours. Why are you trying to get me to test your test my brakes on you? Right? That's just why. That's just absolute idiocy. Why would people do that? And I have a right to be mad with that because people do that in real life as well. People really are that stupid. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. It's, it's, it's all right. I'm, I'm finished. Start overloading Tatey Pose. Uh, so is this done in two sections or is it just done in one? I'm going to try this. So I'm just going to have it in one section here. It's unloading that bit. Well, that's a little bit slow, but I mean, it's, it's doing the job all right. Oh, wait, no. I don't even want them in here. This is the wrong one. Hee <laughs> hee. I need to put them over in this storage. Let's bring you back round over this way. My bad. My bad. There. 
let's not smash inside of our clamp either. So I'm just going to bring the first piece over like that. Tip that out. This is what I wanted. So now I've got that going into there. And then if we drop down into this one, you can have a look. We've got potatoes, pig food in here. This does have a 2 million litre capacity in here. And we've only got like 400,000 litres potatoes to go in so i mean that's that's pretty good uh potatoes here i got eighty thousand liters of potatoes right here that i kind of accidentally put in there and it does it closes it up all right so i've got that bit there i want to try and get the eighty thousand liters. oh it's in it is in two separate sections how cool is that i love this but how do i unload the second section Why? It's it's. I don't. What? What? I can't unload it. <sighs> right. This is not anything to do with me. I haven't made a mistake on this. Also, how do I get the potatoes out of this thing? Oh, it is here. Right. I'm going to need to move that um, thingy that I've got right there. So if I bring this over here so that I can get the... There we go. I want to fill this one right up. I get all the potatoes in here. But it's not allowing me to tip them out. Oh, I wait. I, I, I know, I know. Let, let me just finish taking out the potatoes that we've got in storage a minute. And I suspect... Something in here. Unload here. Follow, initiate, control, higher, start, tip side. Oh, tip side for... There, the tip side. you got to press U. I, I wouldn't have thought of that. I genuinely, genuinely wouldn't have thought of that. I also need to have a bit more room for shunting around the yard. I didn't design this, this, this quite properly in here. Barley, oat, canola, sorghum, grapes, olives, sunflowers. This is a multi-fruit bin, by the way, which means that you can quite literally put everything in existence into this thing in here like the whole of existence can go in here it's just a little bit slow unloading with the millions of liters of product that we are actually able to put in here it does feel like it's a little bit slow unloading i feel that that could potentially be tweaked just a tiny little bit we'll do tweaking another time over here okay so that one i can unload there like that that will drop that down to 240,000. there we go and then i bring this next one over like this and then all i gotta do is press y and uh, yeah, u sorry not y u tip side back and i've got the second section to unload so you can actually put two different crops in this trailer which is really cool that is a feature that I really do love. I didn't realise that you could put two separate crops into the same trailer. And that is going to prove a rather useful little thing that we can sort of rely on a bit later on. Now, if I shut you off... You do actually have to have the engine running in order to be able to tip. I didn't realise that. So that's all of the potatoes in there and... All we're going to be waiting on now is, well, we, we need all of these other crops to go in. You do have to have all of the ingredients, so we're going to need soybeans. We do have soybeans that are growing, but I think that's going to be next year's crop. Isn't it? You, you, right here. Soil composition growth. No, soybeans are going to be harvested next month along with corn, and we've got corn up there that we'll also harvest next month. We'll leave it until next month. Um... Remove foliage, I think. Oh, no, we've got more potatoes down there, and that's sugar beet. What we don't have, though, is barley. It's the only thing we don't have. So we're going to have to wait until next year before we can do the barley bit. But that's fine. We, we, we've got plenty of other things to get on with. Corn, I'm going to need corn here for the pigs, and I'm going to need corn over there going into the mill to turn it into cracked corn to feed the chickens. And I need sunflowers to feed chickens as well now, apparently. If you have a look in here, we also need to get sunflowers. Now, there's no sunflowers growing anywhere on the map at the moment. Not that I was aware of. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Oh, wait, what? This map hasn't even got sunflowers allowed. Look. Do you see sunflowers? This map is one of those. The, the map creator has decided that we can't grow certain crops in here. So there's no cotton here. Um, apparently we can have olives, but we can't grow sunflowers. Last time I checked, you could grow sunflowers anyway. You could grow olives. I could be wrong, mind. I could be getting all indignant and outraged over something that's completely and utterly false and ridiculous. It wouldn't be the first time. So, wait a minute. Does that mean... I'm going to need to check this. Cedars. Well, there's no sunflowers in there. I think, actually, sunflowers... Yeah, okay, so that one does do sunflowers there. Let's just buy this little one here. It's a standard one. Standard machine. Okay, right. And then I want to go through our machines. I'm going to go to you. Go to our lovely little Kirovich tractor that we've got right here. Now bring that one over. Now I'm going to hook on that seed drill. And I want to see if I can select sunflowers on here. Right, so I've got corn. And I have sunflowers. Right, so I've got sunflowers on there. And if I go in here, there's no window for... Hmm. Uh, now, I got worker buy for materials. So I'm curious. If I go over here, look at that plow. <laughs> look at the tractor going with the plow. That is glorious. That is absolutely fantastic. If I bring someone over and I just set the hired help going, is he just not going to let me plant sunflowers? Is he, like, what's he not going to like? This fruit cannot be planted in October. Wrong season for the work. Okay, so it's wrong season for the work. So if I then go into this option here, uh, seasonal growth, paused, no. So we've got no seasonal growth. All right, that has planted sunflowers. So now let me have a look in here. I got a little tiny bit for sunflowers. And right over here, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, we've missed a little bit of potato there on the side. But it's not giving me any different color. I'm, I've got a bit there for growing. And it's also fertilized because the hired help bought it automatically. Hmm. Right, well, we'll just have to... We, we will come back to that. Seasonal growth, yes, I do want the seasonal growth. So I don't know what's going to happen with this, but it did say that it won't actually do it. It doesn't like that. Well, that's fine. It doesn't have to like it. We can, we can deal with that. Let's take you back. I'm going to get rid of a couple of the tractors and stuff because I don't like tabbing through things and I'm just going to end up losing machinery and that's just going to make life a little bit more difficult for me. So we don't actually need to do that. We'll keep the tricycle over here. Uh, however, this one can be sold, this Kirovitz here. I was going to keep it here just to like load stuff onto the trailer, but we don't need to do that. We we've got other means. So let's go here and... I'll sell Kirovitz, and I'll sell that one. Is that bit done? And I'm also going to go into here, and I'm going to go to the garage for things that we own. Small tractors. No. Nope. It's under cars, actually. Lizard small truck. It is that one. That's You know that, that weird-looking one um, that was really, really slow? I'm going to sell that one. That one's gone. So we'll keep the rest of these. I want the Flintstone thing because I, I kind of got things I want to do with that one. And I've got these three tractors. And I've got that one. All right. I think that's fine for everything else. I think that's going to be absolutely fine. 
Uh, we've got the little bit of sunflowers there to go and deal with later on. So we don't, I, it might be that we don't have sunflowers enabled on this map, which is a little bit of a jolly nuisance. I would like to have sunflowers enabled on this map. It would make life a bit easier. Uh, that being said, can we buy sunflowers from the shop? Let's go in here. Big bag pallets. I doubt that we'll have anything here. You've got total mixed ration, quick composter, pig food, oat, wheat. It just says wheat, though. It doesn't actually specify chicken food. And, of course, with the cracked corn thing, it's going to be a bit different. So we've got big bags here. Do we have big bags of separate grains? I've got big bags of some things. So I've got wheat and oats for the horses. Um, pig food is the mixture of everything. Seeds, barley, canola, chaff, maize, oat, potato, soybean, sorghum, sunflowers. I can buy sunflowers one tiny little bag at a time. 100 litres. I need a lot more than that. So I'm hoping that if I've got one bag there that's doing it, I'm hoping that I have also got some bigger bags or other ways of buying these in larger quantities because it might be that sunflowers, the only way that we can buy any sunflowers at all is, or use sunflowers, barley, canola, chaff. These are the cheap ones. I've got these in another one. Sunflowers, right there. 5,000 litres of sunflowers for 1,000 euros. We'll only use this for feeding the chickens. That's all it will be. We'll, we'll get a load of those pallets and put them in for feeding the chickens. I think that's going to be the best way to do this. Uh, I don't think we can pick those up as a standard overloaded euro pallet, though. I think we have to offload them from there onto it. Oh! Yeah, I think I did. I think it wouldn't work. I don't think you can use an auto load to get those to move. I mean, that's fine. As long as we've got some. Oh, and we've also got a pallet of cracked corn that we can buy there. There's a bin of cracked corn there, which we can put in for the chickens. So we don't even need to wait to get the cracked corn. We can just go and buy it direct. But I don't want to do that. I want to produce everything properly. I, that's what I want to do in this series, is I want to like grow as many things as possible properly. So there's that bit there. This field is now done. It's going to need fertilizer of some kind. I'm also going to go and get rid of the sunflowers over here. We will try and grow sunflowers in this field. Now, it does look like the map itself doesn't allow sunflowers on it. In which case... Um, so I'm having to do this from memory, but I believe it's like April or May that sunflowers can be planted. It's in the spring, and it's either April or May. It's not as early as March. Like some, There's very few crops that can go in March. So we're looking at April or May. I mean, we could try June, but I think that's too late. Um, so we will attempt to plant sunflowers in that field a few times over, and we'll see what happens. So if we're doing sunflowers as well... If they can be included, we'll have to sort of include those in our rotation. Maybe we'll do a five crop rotation or something. But we're going to need a lot of other crops because I want to get as many production facilities going as possible. And the production things are a little bit more difficult to do. I must remember to edit the map and get rid of these bits here. We don't want these, the, like these, these flower pots and stuff. And also that hedgerow. We need to get rid of that as well. It does look really cool the way that it's done. But we want to get rid of it. We, we don't want that here. Uh, you come around here. I'll need to do a little bit more ploughing later. So that plough can just go in the shed. Swing it back around like that. And job done. Right, okay. You can go in there. And let's just make sure that we have crop destruction is off. That's fine. Periodic ploughing. Fieldstone. Lime. We don't want weeds. We don't want... We don't want to be dealing with any of that nonsense. Uh, seasonal growth. Yes. Okay. So we've got everything in the way that we want it. We go shift Z and we can sleep the night. It's a little bit dark and dingy at the moment. Just a tiny bit. The sun is coming up. I've only got it on three times speed at the moment. But look at the glorious pinkness on here. This, this looks... This looks fabulous in the morning sunlight. Let's speed the time up a little bit, because quite frankly, this is a bit dark, dingy, and dull. Um, 
And I, I want it to look a little bit better than this. There we go. Now we can see. Oop, I don't want to cut that one up. That's much better. I may have to remove that tree. That might be in our way. Just saying. Okay, 10 o'clock seems pretty good. Let's, uh, I'll go to three times speed on this. Because otherwise I'm just not going to be able to see anything. And start you up. I'm just going to leave... Actually, you know what? I'm going to just pull forward a bit more. Because... I think it would be better if this trader is over here right away a little bit more. Drop that one there. And then I've got to somehow get that header on. So first up, let's unfold this combine so that he's ready for harvesting. And then we get that header on and that one's going to be ready for harvesting as well. And I didn't actually start this one up on the combine just to make sure that it would work. So... There's also this issue right here, which I did think about previously. We just can't lift it high enough to get off the trailer. We kind of need just a little bit of... <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! I go backwards! <laughs> dying here. <laughs> it's actually putting the beeper on for me. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. It put the beeper on. Right, we'll unfold his head. <gasps> oh, yes, it does the whole thingy majiggy. I love this. I love this. this. This is such a cool feature. Look at this. Oh, that's amazing. It looks like space age something. Let's fold it back up again. Look at it go! <laughs> oh, that is that's just fantastic! Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, I think. Oh, well, obviously we need to do this again. This is like when you go into a big, you know, shopping centre and they've got the, the the escalators there. I am the type of person that will get onto the escalator and ride it to the top. And then go straight round and then ride back down again and then go round and then ride back up again. Just because it's fun. Don't tell me none of you do that. Right? Don't 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 give me don't look at me in that tone of voice. Alright? You don't need to. I know some of you do this, and if you don't, well you should. Because I know you want to. In your heart of hearts, it's something that you all want to do. You all crave another ride on those escalators and you all choose not to and I don't know why I don't understand why you wouldn't do it now what I do want to do here a minute is I actually want a different helmet I don't like my helmet so I am going to go into here here this this is one that we've got I need to select the color and Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.